Welcome back everyone to another game of Stack and Pack. Today I'm going to play game 3 called Addition and Multiplication Properties. This card says A plus B equals B plus A. This card says 2 plus 25 times 8 equals 8 times 2 plus 8 times 25. Associative property of addition. We have not reached there yet, but this is a starter card. 4 times 1 equals 4. 65 times 1 equals 65. Sounds like this is the same stack. Distributive property. Well, yes, this is the distributive property because 2 plus 25 times 8 is the same as multiplying each of these numbers by 8 and adding them together. C plus B times A equals A times C plus A times B. This is also the same as the distributive property, only using variables this time, not numbers. 4 plus 8 times 7 equals 7 times 4 plus 7 times 8. Also, another example of the distributive property, and we have a completed stack right here. Wow card, we're going to eliminate that card. Associative property of multiplication. We have not reached there yet. Uh, 2 plus 6 plus 3 equals 3 plus 2 plus 6. Know that the order grouping of the parentheses does not matter. And this is related to addition, so this is the same thing as the associative property of addition. 2 times 5 times 7 equals 7 times 2 times 5. This is the associative property of multiplication. Um, cumulative property of addition. Wow card. I'm going to eliminate that card. 14 times 50 times 21 equals 21 times 14 times 50. Once again, this is the associative property of multiplication. 43 plus 95 equals 95 plus 43. Note that if we switch the add-ins, the sum does not change, it stays the same. So this is the commutative property of addition. 10 plus 43 plus 15 equals 15 plus 10 plus 43. B plus C plus A equals a plus b plus c. This is the associative property of addition with variables. 3 plus 5 equals 5 plus 3. <laughs> they all equal 8. So this is the commutative property of addition. b times c times a equals a times b times c. So this is the associative property of multiplication but do we have that card yes we do right here zero product property now we have five times zero equals zero because any number times zero equals zero so this is the zero product property a times b equals zero then a equals 0 or B equals 0. If the product is 0, that means that either one of these factors or both of them are equal to 0. 
So I guess this is the same thing as the zero product property. Zero times 84 equals zero. Yes, uh, this card belongs with this stack. Commutative property of multiplication. 22 times 18 equals 18 times 22. Note that if we switch the factors, the product does not change. So this is the commutative property of multiplication. And again, 5 times 7 equals 7 times 5. It does not matter the order of the factors. A times B equals B times A. We completed the stack of the commutative property of multiplication. Additive identity property. And here is an example. 33 plus 0 equals 33. Any number added by 0 equals its same number because the addend and the sum are the same number. So this card belongs with this stack. 8 plus 0 equals 8. This is another example of the additive identity. A plus 0 equals A. This is the variable version, and we have the completed stack. Multiplicative identity property. This means that any number times 1 equals itself. This card belongs with this stack. Last card. A times 1 equals A. True, because any number times... 1 equals itself. So this card belongs to this stack, and we have completed the game.